Hi, <clears throat> I've uh, got uh, Architectural Home Designer 9 open here. I'm going to go File, New Plan. Just use a standard thing. I don't use the grid, so I'm going to turn it off. I'll go to Default Settings and uh, Plan. Turn off that. <clears throat> okay, now I'm just going to sketch out your plan. Or the plan. Uh, you know who you are. Well, I, did, I just did that wrong, didn't I? Let me start again. Okay, we got a little bump out here in the back, <clears throat> and a bump out in the front. Again, I'm not worrying about exactitude here. Just demonstrating how you get things done. Now, you can see auto roofs is turned on, and what it did is uh, a uh, standard hip, hip roof situation in the front and back. That's, that's the default way it does things. So, with auto roofs turned on, let me uh, zoom in here. You can see this. I'm going to open the wall, open object, go to the roof tab of the wall specification dialog, check full gable, and it put a full gable wall there. Bingo, bingo. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to hit Shift F6 and to split the screen up, you can watch this develop. You can see the ca camera icon moving as I'm, I'm manually moving over here. Now I'm going to go over here back to this screen. I went back to this screen by just click, left clicking on it, by the way. I'm going to open the, this wall, this, this wall over here in plan view. Go to the roof tab. Tell it to be a full gable. How hard is that? <laughs> I don't mean to belittle you or anything like that. It's just knowing what to do and, and then getting it what getting what to do. Now if you want this overhang out here then uh, you were probably going in the right direction with uh, your invisible walls. Let me just extend that over there and uh, we'll extend this out here. You can see it react to the changes. Okay. Now I'm going to break that wall. See I don't think Architectural will do a big gable out here and, and have your uh, overhang just exactly the way you want it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to take this, go over here and take that out. We'll make that wall invisible. You'll see that it react and go back to the default condition. <clears throat> I'm just not quite sure you're, you're going to get exactly what you wanted. Let me get that piece there and we'll make that piece invisible. Kind of similar to what you, what I look like you have in your uh, plan view. And then in a new unit at a time, I'm going to tell this wall here to, uh, it should still have that, pro you know, it's still in there, it's just not complying. So let's get rid of this. i just kind of show you what works and what doesn't work. Okay? I mean, I'm sorry, but uh, in Pro and in Chief, I can just draw the, I can grab these roof planes and make them do whatever I want. But in Architectural, you have to lead it with the uh, directors and walls. I'm going to Let's see, we'll turn it around to the back and do the same thing back here. Only this one, I'll make, I'll make it a full gable first. Okay, that's what it would do that way. And then we'll take this wall here, roof tab, full gable, okay. And we get basically a mirror image of what we had in the front. But if you want this overhang out here, even with this, which I don't know why you would want that, because uh, that's not the way the, the sort of thing is built, unless you're going to have a porch or something where this roof's going to overhang, and it's so high up, it wouldn't give you very much uh, protection from the rain anyway. So this is the way I would do it, and if I was designing it from scratch and they wanted a, two gables, that's the way I would do it. But what you're trying to do, uh, originally trying to do, based on what I see in your floor plan, is just not very workable. But as you can see, it just, it just went bang, 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 uh, doing it this way. And you can see that also the dimensions don't quite matter. If I pull this out, you know, it just pulls it out. Put it, make the bump really small, kind of like what I was suggesting. And you get the idea. Uh, that's about all I can suggest to you right now. I'm not going to tell you how you can should design your own house, but I can demonstrate uh, how the software works and how it doesn't work. And architectural uh, suite and uh, landscaping. Uh, deck designer, uh, interiors, essentials, 
you're limited to what you can tell the roofs to do by the uh, ceiling height in the, in the dialog box and by roof directives in, in walls, like I've just demonstrated. Hope this helps you. Thank you.